Hello everybody and today I'm at Plymouth Guild Hall and um, it's a vintage kilo sale. It's the company We Are Dot. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's We Are Dot. It's a little bit more expensive. It's £20 a kilo and normally it's 15 at most of them. It's absolutely chucking it down, so I'm just debating whether I need to queue with my brolly. Um, because I've got, basically, I've got brand new Prime Arnie jeans on and I'm thinking to myself, if I get wet, I'm going to have Smurf legs. No one wants that. Hello everybody and welcome back to Cookie in the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris and we're back at a vintage kilo sale. Not been to one for a while and you might notice I'm first in the queue. For the first time ever in my life I'm first in the queue. Um, now the funny thing is just after I walked in the door the organiser decided he needed to um, hold back the rest of the queue um, because they weren't ready yet. Now, just wait a minute, because I'm browsing and nobody else is coming in right now. I've just stopped to see what's going on. You're not ready yet? Is that all right? So he's actually let me carry on on my own in the kilo sale. There's nobody else in here. It's a free for all. I need to get through this stuff as quick as I can before he actually lets the rest of the queue in. Um, so that's cool. I've never had that happen before. I've got an, an, a whole room to myself. Um, it won't last long though, only a few minutes. But listen. I'm on cycling jerseys. I'm in my element here. I've managed to walk straight to the cycling jerseys and there's tons of them. So let's see what we've got here. There's no way I can turn down the cycling jerseys. I do like picking them up, mainly because they have pretty decent profit margins, but only if you get the right ones. There's, there's no point buying them willy-nilly, right? You learn, though, after a little while. I've bought hundreds of jerseys. You learn which ones go and which don't. That's a nice one. I'll have that. Quite a few vin actual vintage jerseys as well. And you don't often see the actual vintage ones. You can tell them because the material's a bit different. Uh, you can just tell them a mile off. There you go. That's a nice one, that Bianchi. That's really nice. That's probably 30 or 40 pounds worth of shirt there. On to some other sports tops now. You'll notice uh, there's no sound. Uh, that's because they had music playing in the hall. So I'm having to uh, put my own little bit of music on top. I hope you're okay with that. There's not really much to hear other than me scooting through rails of clothing. That's, that's about it really. So probably better to have the music on anyway. We're in Plymouth Guild Hall, and thankfully I had to queue inside, not outside. When it when we had sort of mid lockdown kilo sales, we were queuing outside, so I didn't get wet this time, and I was first in the queue on the inside, so that's cool. A lot of sports gear in here today. A lot of sportswear. Not much in the way of jackets and tracky tops, though. Maybe it's summer, so. You know, maybe they've not got as much of that kind of stock. A 
a U2 uh, gig t-shirt. If you stay with us till the end of the video, we'll show you everything that I pick up because I don't get it all on camera. Olympics t-shirt. Maybe a little bit late for that. Maybe at the start of the Olympics, I might have shifted that. Now it's worth noting that this kilo sale is free entry, but you should really get a ticket. Some kilo sales are three pound or four pound to enter or early bird tickets. Uh, this one's free to enter, but of course it is 20 pound a kilo. A nice retro style lotto polo shirt there in the bag. Wasn't sure what that was, so I left it. And a Euro 2016 polo as well. I think we'll have that. Needs a damn good iron or steam. Now, the interesting part about this kilo sale was they had this section on the stage, which was like the gold premium wear. And this was all individually priced. Now, most of these jackets were like £20 or £25. Now, don't get me wrong, if some of them had been worth good money, I would have paid it. But most of these are not worth it for me as a reseller. If you're buying just as a normal customer and you're not selling on, it might be good for you. But this is something I've not seen at a kilo, kilo sale where they've separated some of the expensive items. It's an interesting way of doing it. Personally, I prefer to see that stuff in the main hall, obviously, because it would be cheaper. Um, but I'm not adverse to them separating the stuff out, but it does have to have a bit of profit in it for me. But not everybody in this room is a reseller. That's what we have to remember. Nice jacket here, but this was 40 odd pound. I think it was 40 pound or 45. There's nowhere near enough in it for me to resell that. We'll get back down to the kilo stuff and on to t-shirts. A lot of sports t-shirts. Let us know if you enjoy going to the kilo sales in the comments below. Which company is your favourite? It's worth noting that this isn't a sponsored video or anything. I'm getting no preferential treatment from the organizers or the company involved. Um, I just turned up like a normal punter, paid, paid my price and went. Um, you know, they weren't aware I was coming, etc. cetera. So um, there's no preferential treatment here. But yeah, I'm interested to hear which, which of the kilo sales do you enjoy going to most? I mean, a lot of people buy kilo stuff online now. You don't even need to go to the sales. But the bonus of going to the sales, of course, is it's a hand. It's effectively a hand pick. So you're getting to check every single item. A lot of the stuff you buy online is blind or you're not actually getting to feel it. You know, you're not getting to have a look close up at it. Getting quite a few sports t-shirts here. A lot of these t-shirts, we're probably looking at anywhere between 10 and 20 pound each, some of these. There are certain specific ones that I do look for, and we'll talk about that later if you want to stay tuned till the end. Tons of t-shirts, isn't there? So I did notice there weren't many jackets and tracky tops and stuff, which I do like to pick up tracksuit tops, but uh, it is what it is, as they say. 
hate using that phrase, everybody uses it all the time. I just used it myself. Super Bowl tea. I think we'll have that one. Now, this is a hoodie, it's a heavy hoodie. So I'm looking at this and when I'm looking at it, I'm debating the weight of it. I'm thinking, okay, at 20 pound a kilo, this is six, 700 grams, maybe. So you've got to think about what is that going to equate to in cost, in monetary value, and is it worth it? And I think that hoodie is borderline, whether it's worth it or not but I'm going to pick it up anyway. I'm going to pick it up. I don't think I'm going to lose on it. I think it could be worth maybe 30 or 40 pound, but the cost price of it is going to be relatively high. Another hoodie here. Very creased those. Some were really creased and some weren't. Don't forget these clothes come in bales. They are super tightly packed into bales. So that's why they end up mega creased. Some of the kilo sales, they do iron their stuff before they hang it out or they steam it. It doesn't look like they did it at this one. Okay, so we are done in the kilo sale. This is the leaflet for the um, the guys running it. We are, we are, dot. All right, is that back to front? Might be because I'm on the reverse camera. I don't know, I hope it's not. Um, yeah, so I actually spent a fair bit, 288 pound. I can't remember what that equates to in kilos. I'll, we'll have a look afterwards. Um, so it went all right. I thought it was okay. Um, a little bit more expensive than your average, but if you can pick up decent stuff, then it's still worth it. And um, nice guy running it. I didn't catch his name, I'm sorry. Um, he let me stay in even though they'd opened the doors a bit early. So I pretty much had the run of the place for about 10 minutes. Literally, I was trying to get through as many items as I could. He was like, no, you can stay in, you can stay in. Um, so yeah, uh, anyway, let's just get back to headquarters. We'll evaluate what we picked up and uh, see if it really was worth it. Right, so we're back from the kilo sale. There wasn't as much jackets, um, tracky tops and stuff like that. There wasn't as much of that as normal, maybe because we we're in the middle of summer and it was predominantly t-shirt sportswear, uh, that kind of stuff. Quite a lot of denim, but I don't really buy denim at a kilo sale because it ends up costing too much. Um, but on the whole, I thought it was pretty good. And as you can see, I spent £288. I think that was 14.4 kilos. Um, we might as well go through it all. You'll have seen some of it that I picked in the video. I'll go first for... Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, when I got there, I was really chuffed because there was loads of cycling jerseys. And it's not like I need more cycling jerseys, but if I see them, I can't not get them. And there were some quality cycling jerseys there. There's definitely some quality ones, but we'll see those in a minute. Um, most of what I got was T-shirts, sports tops, a couple of hoodies. Got to be careful, though, because that weight gets higher and higher. Um, but we'll try and go through um, like the potential weight of different kinds of items so that you understand. Uh, they do have um, like scales throughout the place where you can just go and put an item in and see what it's likely to cost you. Um, that's a good. That's always a good thing. Um, I personally don't really bother because I know roughly what something's going to cost at these sales. Um, I've been to enough of them now. Uh, but if you're a customer just like buying like for the first time, 
good idea to check before it gets out of hand because it can get out of hand. Uh, right. I'll just run through these fairly quickly. Now, standard T-shirts probably weigh about 250 grams, 200, 250, which means you can get about four T-shirts for a kilo, um, four to five potentially, depending. So that means you can pick up a T-shirt for, um, for roughly four to five pound when, you, when it's 20 pound a kilo. If you put four into twenty pound, there's your answer. Um, so that's t-shirt. So this one, it looks like a theme park t-shirt, which is why I picked it up. It's the Biting Ride Black Mamba. Um, I need to check it out, but I picked that up because it looked like a theme park t-shirt. Quite a lot of sports tops are picked up. Um, this one uh, is an MLS top. I like buying the MLS gear. Uh, that's a major league soccer in the USA. Uh, there's probably, there's probably, these t-shirts probably about £15 each. There'll be some a bit more, maybe some a little bit less, but I'll be aiming for a minimum of £15 each on the t-shirts. Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl. I always pick up the Super Bowl um, sports tops. Um, so Super Bowl and like champions, like, the Champions Year uh, souvenir t-shirts. So roughly around £15, but I've not checked any of this, don't forget. I'm just giving you a rough guess. Some are going to be more, some might be slightly less. I don't think there'll be much less than 15 I try to keep it at that. This is John Cena, WWE. Um, let's go on the back there. That's how I knew, because I'm not an expert on WWE. Again, sort of £10, £15. No, probably more than that, actually, on that one. So I've got an itchy nose. Um, maybe 15 to 20 on that one. So what's this? This is a baseball tee. Baseball Regional World Series. NCAA Division 1, by the looks of it. So it could be 15 quid in that one. Um, I got this one because it ha it, it's got like a link up with Star Wars. There's quite a few um, American sports link ups with the Star Wars brand. And I do like to pick them up because they tend to do pretty well. Jedi training. I don't know for sure what these are going to sell for or if they're going to sell at all. Uh, World Champions 2013. This looks like the Seattle Seahawks. Again, it's a um, Super Bowl tee, which I like picking up. The Super Bowl tees can be like £20 plus, depending depending which ones they are, of course. S FC Dallas, again, another MLS top. You know, there could be 15 to 20 in that one. Uh, this was an interesting one. It needs, obviously, a lot of this stuff needs a good iron or steam. Um, sometimes you go to a kilo sale and it's all pre-ironed, which is nice, but these ones weren't. Um, so this is Run DMC Adidas. So a bit of a collaboration going on there. So I thought that was cool. Uh, very light. So that's, that's even less than a cycling top. So that was probably about three quid. These are all sports tops in this bag, I think. This one's the 2011 NHL playoffs. Uh, yeah, there you go. I'll try and rattle through because there is quite a lot that I've got. Um, 2007 NBA champions. Like I say, always pick up, or I always pick up, the, the champions t-shirts. Because a lot of people keep these as souvenirs. When we get to these cycling jerseys, I'm going to rattle through those because I'm pretty sure you're not that bothered about cycling tops. Um, Hollywood Casino in Aurora. Is that Illinois? I don't know. I just like the T-shirt. I just A lot of the time it's going off like what the design is on the T-shirt and you, if you think that somebody's going to like it. World Series Chicago Cubs. 
Again, that's very, very light. Probably about three pound, that one. Turned into maybe 15. What have we got here? This one is uh, a Cavs, is it Cavaliers? Yeah. But I like the design on it. The good thing about this one, this sale was, obviously, I like buying the sportswear, the sports t-shirts, the sports jerseys. Um, I like picking that stuff up and there was plenty of it. Although there wasn't a lot of like American football, baseball, uh, NHL, MLS. There wasn't a lot of the actual team jerseys there. In fact, I didn't see many at all. Um, so that was a bit of a downer. Um, this one is a Reebok Pittsburgh Penguins top and it's got the double sided, which is good. It's got a schedule on the back. 2016. Is it Champions? I'm not sure. I can't remember now. Can't remember. It's just literally put that on the floor. Another Super Bowl. This is San Francisco's Faithful Super Bowl t shirt. Um, a lot of sports tees, to be honest. A lot of USA sports stuff, and not just like the uh, lower league stuff or the college stuff. A lot of like, you know, the main top league stuff. This is a Conor, Conor McGregor UFC t-shirt, which I thought was really nice, the design on that. That's quite cool. Um, lightweight champion. That could be worth something. Oh, whoopsie daisy. This one is a New York Giants top t-shirt. It's actually got a Goodwill tag on here. Originally $10.99. I think that's a goodwill tag um, and it's got a double side print with Manning number 10. Um, so we've done all right there. Let's grab, uh, let's grab a small bag. Uh, what have we got in here? We've got some polo tops. I didn't get many polos, but this is um, a UEFA Euro 2016 polo. I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh, France 2016. I'm thinking there's probably 20 quid on that. Uh, is this a Patriots tee? I'm pretty sure that's New England Patriots. 15 quid maybe, 12, 15 quid. Uh, a Yankees t-shirt. I like picking up the Yankees, always very, very popular. Obviously one of the most popular teams. Uh, genuine merchandise. MLB, could be 15 quid in that one. Uh, another, I got this one um, because of its retro value. It's a Lotto um, polo top. Just thought it was very nice. Size medium, nice retro polo top. What have we got here? Oh, another link up with Star Wars, this time Yoda. I don't know if you can see. Fight we will. Marshall. I need to check out what team that is. I'm not sure on that one. Um, what is this? Is this Motorsport? Le Mans Series 2005. Yeah, Motorsport anyway, Le Mans. Uh, what's this? Uh, Super Bowl champions, Denver Broncos, and it's you know it's got all the Super Bowl stuff. It's still got actually some of the stickers on here. I'd say actually it's probably not been worn because it's still got the stickers remaining on there. It's like they, you know, untagged it, put the stickers on it to keep it nice. Uh, what's this one? What is this? I don't even remember picking this one up, to be honest with you. Uh, hot air. Oh yeah, I do remember. It's like a melting trainer. I just like the design of it. It's a Nike medium. Uh, let's go over here. Looks like this could be the cycling tops. Now cycling jerseys are very, very light. 
a little bit lighter than t-shirts so you're talking most of the time unless it's a long sleeve a cycling jersey is going to come in at less than 200 grams which means you can get five to six sometimes in your kilogram so if it's 20 pound a kilogram which it was today um divide 20 by say six uh six twelve eighteen just over three pound Let's call it 350 each. That's more than that I've paid in the past for cycling jerseys, as you know, if you watch the channel. Um, but 350 is still a good price and there were some cracking cycling jerseys. Let me show you. I know it's a bit of a niche market, but there is some, some there is some absolute crackers. Um, this is a Bianchi. And it's also it's originally made by Deodora and it's vintage 100%. That that could be that's going to definitely be over twenty pound, um, possibly over thirty. I won't know that until I check and do my research. I would suggest all these cycling jerseys that cost me around three fifty each are going to bring me a minimum of twenty pound. As I say, some will go to thirty, and there'll be a couple. I'm pretty sure there's a couple here that might stretch to forty. This is a wacky. A really wacky Deodora um, design. Wackier the designs, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yellow cycling jerseys always sell well. It's, I don't know whether it's to do with the, like the winners' jerseys are sometimes yellow, aren't they? Like the Tour de France and stuff. I don't know, but yeah, yellow just seems to be the most popular colour. Also, it's very bright, isn't it? So if you're cycling on the road, yellow is a good colour to wear. This neon one, not seen that brand before, but neon does well. Again, probably for the visibility reason. I'm going to rattle through these. Oh, this is a long sleeve. That's a vintage um, SMS Santini. That brand always does well. I would think that's a minimum £30. That's another proper vintage jersey. I just kept picking them up. There was rail. There was a massive rail of them. I just thought I can't leave them. That's really nice. Just looking at the design of it, having sold a lot of these, I kind of get a feel for which ones are going to do well and which ones aren't. That one just absolutely covered in sponsorship. Some good brands and some brands that I've not bought before as well, which is saying something. There's a bright pink thing. Oh, football jersey. Um, I need to check the team out. This is a Kappa 3XL. There weren't many, like I said, there weren't many sports jerseys, but this was one of them. I don't know the team, though. It looks like it's German in, of some description. Let's check that out. About four, I'll have that. Oh, this is just an Adidas, this is Adidas Predator um, sports top, um, which I thought was really nice. I've not seen that Adidas Predator top before. Uh, back onto cycling jerseys. I'm going to run through these. Nice branding across the front always will do well that. I'm pretty sure when I list some of these cycling jerseys are going to go quickly. That one's still tagged. Oh, a long sleever here. So this one weighs a little bit more. Nice design on it. That is, that's proper vintage. I've not seen that brand before. It's going to be £30 on that at least. Another one, nice design. This is a good one. I've sold... This is not only is it it's Santini, but it's got Bianchi on the front. It's got a really strong brand of here, Martini Racing. That for sure, that's an example of one that could go. I say could because I've not looked it up yet, so don't hold me to it. But could be a £40 pounder, that one. That's just a gut instinct. 
Um, this one is a Puma um, Leopoldsdorf, so I think it's a German football team um, with trainer on the back. That's why I picked it up. It's got trainer on the back. Uh, a an Adidas vest top thingamajiggy. Vintage, vintage Adidas, weight, next to nothing, probably three to four pound cost wise. This was all right. This was like a vest top. It's a lotto. I'm not sure where it's from or what it is. But I shall have lots of fun trying to find that. Bright neon yellow. Cycling top, very nice. Um, just a nice simple design there, velodrome or velodrome, as is spelt on there. Um, Intersport long sleeve cycling, that's still tagged. What's this? Oh, this is just an Adidas um, sports polo. And what have we got here? Just we're back on t-shirts again. Uh, a U2 2009 Tour t-shirt, the 360 Tour. Always like to pick up, they weren't, always like to pick up um, Tour music gig t-shirts. There wasn't a lot there at the sale today. But this was an example of one because it's got the schedule on the back. Um, and this, we're on to the last bag now. Now I've got a couple of hoodies in here, so you've got to watch the weight on these hoodies. This one, I think, comes in at about 700 grams. Um, so that would make it... Um, oh... 14 pounds, something like that. I'd say roughly, you know, you could probably work it out. I've not got my calculator handy. But I picked it up because it's a Black Hawks, Hawks hoodie. Um, and it's made by uh, Lee Sport. So you can see there, you might have seen it on the video. Um, and it's got the original official NHL tag there as well. So I paid up for this, definitely. I mean, if this was like £14, what am I going to ask for it? Um, I'm just hoping that it's all intact and there's no damage to it. But I'm thinking maybe £40 on that, 40 ish um, Again, you can't hold me to any of these prices because I've done zero research. I'm just going off my own gut instinct. This one is um, 2012, I can't read it upside down, the Face Off uh, American Sports Hoodie. And again, we are, well, no, this one's lighter. That's probably going to be a tenner, that, based on the prices today. Um Right, some more t-shirts. This one is the NBA Champions 2017. Uh, what else have we got? I thought this was Hall Halloween Horror Nights at first uh, over on Universal, but I don't think it is. It's not actually, I know it's not. Um, that was what it made me think straight away. But... It still looks interesting. It's called the Vintage, the, not Vintage, the Victim Experience in Las Vegas. Oh, I'll have to look it up. So something in Vegas, Trilogy of Terror. So definitely pick that one up. Uh, some Ni a Nike Air Jordan yellow tee. Uh, what is this? Now, I, th I think, oh, the... I think I've got a broken zip on this. I'll have to check that. But it's a Adidas, I think it's a cycling top, looking at the pockets at the back. But it's got this evil eye sort of design on it, which I thought was nice, which is why I picked it up. But if the zip's broken, which 
gold, one of my golden rules is to check the zips and I've missed that one. I might be able to do something about that. I might be able to hang something on the end of it. What have we got here? We've got a little jumper here, actually. Um, it was a joker design, uh, but it's made by Takuno Shima Worldwide Wear. I've never heard of them, but I just like the design and it felt like it had some vintage value to it. Weight wise, this is probably um, that is probably about 400 grams, so about eight pound on that. A few more cycling tops before we finish up. This one's just got Just Eat all the way over it, which is cool. Um, just another vintage one. There's There was quite a few genuine vintage cycling tops, which you don't see the proper vintage ones that often. 2016 World Series Champions of Cubs. Another cycling. This one's a bright purpley, purpley sort of colour. What's this one? Descent. Um, again, just a wacky design, which usually goes down pretty well. What have we got here? Oh, we have got a tracky top. This was... Uh, this is a vintage area top size large quite like that it's got the tape down the side um just a nice design i need to check the team out it's somewhere in milan milano so I need to just check that out that tracky top by the way not quite as heavy as the hoodie so that's probably about eight or nine pound that uh, in value wise, another cycling jersey, another cycling jersey there. This one's a vintage one, Grand Fondo. And this was the first item I picked up when I worked, walked through the door. I remember picking it up. Um, I don't know what it is at the moment. Um, I'm assuming it's motorsport related. But it's a very nice um, top. And it's got these removable Velcro um, like sponsors. Isn't that unusual? Look, I've never seen that before where they're removable. Braco's 1975 on the back. Althea Racing Honda. Yeah, so I thought that was neat. I don't know what the size is. It doesn't look very big. But that is very neat. It's got these removable pieces on the arms. So that was the first thing I picked up. Very, very light. That's going to be about three or four quid. Um, and that is everything. So in total, I've just counted them up. I picked up 67 pieces, 67 items, which is quite a lot, really. That's going to keep me going for a little while. Um, so if you wanted to average it out, so what's 288 divided by 67? So let's round it up to 70. 7, 14, 21, 28. So it's about £4 a piece. Um, and to be honest with you, that's not bad at all. I've got a couple of heavier items, majority is t-shirts and sports tops and cycling tops. Average is out at £4 each. So before I finish, if you want to check these guys out, it's that's the brand We Are. Um, and they are in Devon and Cornwall at the moment. Maybe they're permanently Devon and Cornwall, I'm not sure. So look out for an event near you if you think that this lot has been worth it. And maybe you could go and check it out yourself. That's it for now. Take care and thanks again for watching. And we'll see you again on the next video. See you later. Bye.